Hmm. Oh, hello. I was just decorating the tree. Plums. <laughs> anyway, I like Christmas time. But for special reasons. Once I went from house to house in the middle of the night. It was Christmas Eve. I had a bag of presents. All kinds of Christmas presents for the weak ones. I was Santa Claus. Michael Rosen Christmas. This is a long journey and off we go. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a hamster. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that Michael Rosen would be there. The two-year-olds would all nestled in their beds while sugar plum fairies danced in their heads. And Mum in her kerchief and Harry Bow in his cap had just settled down for a long winter nap. Mm. Oh no! I'm stuck in the chimney. I can't get in. I really can't get in. Ow! Then I think I'll go through the window. I open the window. Hmm. Suddenly I hear little rattly noises. There was a man and a woman having sex. Nice. Oh no. Uh, sorry, I said. And I ran and ran and I was out the bedroom, down the stairs, out the door, in a flash. Not long after, I went to another house. They don't have a chimney. Would you believe it? So I tried through the window. Uh-oh. It's locked. They're all locked. So I go and fiddle with that door handle. I'm trying to pick the lock and turn the handle. But they got a dead bolt. All right, that's it. I've had enough. God, when I get in. Hooray! I got in. Ah, oh no! That was the mistake. And that's when I get into really big trouble. What am I going to do? A man turned up and he had a knife. That's really dangerous, you know. Quick! I've got to get out of here. Later that night, I went to the house, far away. I go down the stairs, creepy crawly, doop, 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 along the passage. Shh! Careful not to tread on the creaky floorboard. And I saw something fantastic. There was ice cream and chocolate cake and orange juice right in the middle of a tray. I like that. <laughs> Dig in. And I ate the lot. Oh no. Suddenly she appeared. Excuse me, but what the hell are you doing here? It was the Coco Queen. Well, Mr. Rosen? Oh, uh. I've got some toys. I think you know what I mean. Please get out of my house. Great. Really great. Now she's boxing, but I've come on the long journey to see you. I don't want you here. I gave her a box. Uh, a tiny present. And it was all the love in the world. Thank you so much. She was very pleased. I love it. This. <laughs> Oh, get out of here. But I love you, Coco Queen. I don't want you here. I get into bed under the covers. I lay there, mouth open, eyes staring, and I thought for a really long time. I kept thinking about the mistakes I made. I wish there was someone who loved me. <laughs> I'd like Michael I always knew you were a bit weak. Deep down inside, I'm so sad, so sad, so sad, so sad. 
So that's what I am, that's what I be, that's what Christmas means to me. Uh, actually, um, I don't know why I said, I like Christmas. I really hate it. But I love her.